going on everybody thank you so much for coming back to another video and in today's video we're going to be talking about suicide squad so this film is directed by david Ayer and stars some really beautiful and amazing people like will smith jared leto margot robbie jai courtney joel kinnaman just to name a few and i've always really enjoyed this film now this is nowhere near a perfect film there's definitely things that i want to talk about in this draw review of course non-spoiler as usual even though the movie's been out for a while yeah the, the one thing i'll say right out of the gate is i really do enjoy this film i think it gets a lot more crap than it really deserves i think people don't really give this film a chance i think that we're in a very nitpicky time of uh, film criticism just across regular fans and just moviegoers in general. I've always just found this movie to be fun time. It feels like a big comic book mashup. It could be a little lackluster in some areas and it's definitely not one of the best comic book films but I think it definitely has a lot there that you can really enjoy. So real quick before we get into all the reasons why I enjoy this movie and my recommendation and all of that stuff, uh, the one thing that I'll definitely say that this film's biggest problem is for me is it really doesn't Feel like it has a proper sense of direction it doesn't really feel like the movie really had too much to work with as far as big events or plot point moments for these characters to really grow and have an arc across the film now with that said there are characters that do go through some arcs in this film and that do change and have some different feelings but that's mainly focused on some of the main main characters and more specifically will smith's deadshot and uh, margot robbie's harley quinn they're probably one of the only real characters that go through an arc in this film maybe also the character of diablo but all the other characters are kind of there just to be caricatures you know the, the characters from the comic books but not really adding too much to their character and 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 who they are or developing them over the film and that may be a bad thing for a lot of people for me i don't mind it too much it feels a lot like one of the animated cartoons or animated movies um where you know it's not as fleshed out as you'd like it to be they do kind of expect that you know something about these characters and i think as a fan of the comic books and these characters in general i'm able to fill in the gaps which i think makes it a little bit better of a uh, film watching experience for me though i don't necessarily think that that's a praise of the film itself i just uh it really doesn't bother me too much that certain characters aren't developed or grown across this film as much the film really does feel wonky at times with the narrative it doesn't feel like they have too much of a streamlined narrative for these characters there is a, a narrative to follow um but it really isn't filled with too many big character moments or anything that really, like I said, drives these characters to another direction. And I think that that's where the film's main negativity lies for me. Uh, they're given a story that just feels like it was kind of lackluster in your generic kind of comic book film set up and the kind of events that they needed to care take care of and those things happen in the film and i'd say that the biggest positives that this film has lies in its cast its action its visuals and its overall feel and look this film has a really nice soundtrack a lot of really great songs in this film that's one thing i definitely enjoy about this film and i've always just really enjoyed the visual style of the action and just the costume design makeup and all of that stuff in this film this definitely feels like a dc film in the sense that it definitely takes some great imagery from the comic books and brings it to life in a really Really cool and exciting way and this easily has some of my favorite action in recent comic book movie history without a doubt some of the coolest action at certain points in the film though there are some lackluster action moments that you probably won't really won't think of after the film but I do think there are some really big standout moments that really do get me excited every time I watch this film without a doubt Margot Robbie's Harley Quinn and uh, Will Smith's Deadshot are the best part of this film uh, I also really enjoy Viola Davis as Amanda Waller and there's some other really great actors and character mashups in this film but the, the, the biggest issue is that like like I mentioned before, they weren't really given too much time on screen to do too much. So you don't care too, too much about that character and their events in the film. Uh, whereas Margot Robbie's uh, Harley Quinn and Will Smith's Deadshot were definitely given majority of, of the, the meat and potatoes of the script. By the end of the film, you have a different feeling and vibe for them. I'd say the biggest disappointment I had in this film was Jared Leto's Joker. And not because I didn't enjoy his performance. Uh, I know a lot of people really crap on his performance and think that he did a terrible job. I actually really quite like it, and I'm a huge Joker fan. I always just love to see how the character is interpreted differently in different things, whether it's uh, animation, video games, live action movies, whatever. I've always just really loved the character, and I always love to see how they can bring him to screen in a new way. And one thing I could definitely say is I really enjoy the way Jared Leto's Joker looks. Uh, you know, some people really don't like the grills and the tattoos. I personally don't mind. I think it's a cool, different change of, of, of tone and vibe, and, and definitely differentiates itself enough from previous installments or previous iterations I mean of the Joker and I just feel like 
he just wasn't given much to do in this movie at all. His he, He's an inconsequential character, which sucks because the Joker should not be an inconsequential character. Without a doubt, the Joker should have been the main villain of this story, the main uh, nemesis. Everything that they should have been working towards or against should have been the Joker. I think that they really uh, missed an opportunity there. And I think Jared Leto is a phenomenal actor. Everything I've seen him in, he really dives into his roles. And whether that works for some people or not, I think it um, would be a discredit to the man and his work to say that he doesn't commit to his his performances and I think that he did just that with the Joker and I think had he been given a stronger script and, and more to work with with his character overall he probably would have been a bigger standout of this film and he probably would have been a lot more heavily praised than negatively. As far as the rest of the film goes, like I mentioned, I really enjoy this film. I think it has some really great style. The costumes feel like they're right out of the comics and I really, really enjoyed seeing a lot of these characters brought to screen for the first time. It's awesome to see characters like Killer Croc, but then there's the issue is, is that Killer Croc really is inconsequential. Again, he's there, he does some cool moments. There's some cool moments of action, some somewhat funny one-liners and some one-liners that don't work that come from him. It was cool to see that character brought to screen as well as others like Captain Boomerang, which I actually really do enjoy Jai Courtney as Captain Boomerang. He just, again, wasn't given much to do. And I think that's the biggest issue is you have this ensemble film. And I think nowadays, maybe we're a little bit spoiled when it comes to comic book films. But when you have movies like The Avengers and Guardians of the Galaxy, you know, and you have these ensemble films that are done so well with so much heart and charm and the characters are fleshed out and you're able to have feelings with, for all these characters by the end of the film. Uh, you know, when a movie like Suicide Squad comes around and you have really none of that in this film you do have some characters you can connect to and some great visuals and some great action and, and great music but there's really not anything to connect your heart to as far as the script and the characters like i said there are a few things i will not act like this movie is completely soulless there's a lot about this movie i really enjoy and whenever i throw it on pretty often just as something to throw on in the background and i always tend to get hooked in i think that this movie is entertaining i think that it leans more on the entertaining side than the not entertaining side but i think it's one of those movies that as time goes on and you think about it you really just find yourself not as deeply connected to these characters and the events of this film as you really really could have been and i think that's what really disappointed a lot of people is you have so many things in the right places but then you know the overall picture really just doesn't create a compelling and and and, and heart-filled story that you can really attach yourself to i think it's a cool movie i think it's fun i think that i highly recommend it i do really recommend it to fans of, of action movies and fans of comic book movies and if you're a fan of will smith or margot robbie easily some of my favorite performances from them but they just weren't given all the the, the meat and potatoes that they should have been given even though they got the most out of majority of it there's also a bunch of characters in this film that as a comic book fan i can remember and that it was nice to see them brought to screen like i mentioned but some that i haven't even mentioned in here like katana are so inconsequential to the story and and you just feel like if had they just removed that character altogether it, the movie would have gone on with the exact same way and i think that's that's a big problem with this movie is there's too many characters like that there's too many storylines or, or pieces of the film that are inconsequential and really don't matter and when you have too much of that within the runtime of the film you know you just find yourself in a place where you wonder was the overall picture that great and i think the answer is it's not incredible it's not an amazing must-see comic book film but i think it's a good time and i think that a lot of people give it a lot more crap than it deserves i do highly recommend it guys i think that there's a lot of great action some great acting and um some like i said great look and feel and vibe to this film the story was just where they kind of missed the mark a little bit and really giving you a chance to dive into these characters and invest in their story and and their arcs you know and and, and it which is which is a bummer you know what i mean i really do feel like as a comic book fan who was able to fill in the gaps for things leading up to to it and also kind of know where these characters go in certain storylines and all that kind of stuff it's easy to not lean into the negativities that other people may have about the film but I, I do try to look at movies from an objective standpoint and from an objective standpoint I do see those issues that people do have problems with but for me I really still do enjoy this film I, I watch it pretty often here and there yeah this is a movie that I, I do thoroughly enjoy and I do highly recommend guys so let me know your thoughts down below that's gonna be the end of this uh, hit that like button guys I do really appreciate all of you who are new to subscribing or have been watching my videos for a while and continue to comment I mean I can't say thank you enough guys
I'm super grateful. Thank you so much. Also, guys, make sure you watch the Big Rob Theories review of the same movie. He recently just did it with his boy Cam. Uh, really funny and interesting video. I really enjoyed hearing them break down their, their thoughts in this film. Um, so, yeah, guys, that's going to be my review. Thank you so much again. I really appreciate it. Let me know down in the comments what you thought about this movie. Hit that like button. Subscribe. Hit the little bell icon that's next to subscribe so you can get notifications and you can be up to date every time I post a new video. Guys, there's more videos to come. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. I do appreciate you guys continually coming back and watching. You guys are the best. I really appreciate it. This this has just been a super fun adventure to be able to do YouTube and I'm, I'm more and more excited with each and every video. Uh, thank you guys. I keep saying the same things, but I appreciate it. Go check out Suicide Squad. If you have seen it, let me know your thoughts down below. I'm very, very curious and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.